You are watching TVC News at 10. As the Independence Day celebrations continue, President General of Ohanez Ndibo, Dr. John Nyamwodo, has urged the federal government to still consider restructuring of the country. Well, Dr. Nwodo says solutions to the nation's most burning challenges can be traced to a faulty structure. He spoke to TVC News Bamdele Ajayi, who sent in the report. Nigeria has undergone series of transformations, both in civil and military administrations, which many say have been quite slow, compared to where other nations she got her independence with at the same period are. The situation may not be unconnected with the position established by the President General of Ohanez and Dibo, who recounts what the nationalists had in mind at independence. At the time we were independent, our forefathers looked forward to growing a country that would be the strongest country in Africa. With these sources of foreign exchange, we grew some of the best educational institutions in the world. In the University of Ibado, in University of Lagos, in University of Ife, and in Amado Bello University, you produce graduates who rank first all over the world. He spoke on the efforts made by the political class before the military incursion which interrupted the structure. The army has rewritten our constitution. What we have is a constitution which is not a touch on us because it doesn't have validity from the people. There was no plebiscite for this constitution. It was written by a group of army officers and imposed on us by a military legislation of not more than 20-something people. That constitution becomes the ground norm of our country. Dr. Wardo, who once served as the Minister of Information, regretted that the country was on the pedestal of greatness before something fundamental disrupted the nation's speed of progress. We have all been reminded about our ethnic identities. The young boys in Yoruba land wanted to do our republic. The young boys in the Middle Belt wanted Middle Belt Republic. The young boys in the South South wanted Niger Delta Republic. The young boys in the South East wanted Biafra. Dr. Wodo is hopeful that his dream Nigeria, where each part of the country takes responsibility of its future, will still emerge. And derives from export of dairy and vegetable, $100 billion a year, which we have never earned in oil since the history of oil production in Nigeria. Something is wrong with our education. Something is wrong with our political structure. Something is wrong with our standardization. Something is wrong with our probity in public office. Something is wrong with our economics. The statement is optimistic that a time is coming when ethnicity and religion will no longer be signs of weakness, but bonds of strength.